The region around Dunhuang is forbidding, but was once part of a busy trade route. Between the 4th and 14th centuries, it was also a center of devotion. If you ever have been there, you will not forget it. 500 caves, all painted with sculptures. And it is um, an astonishing place of contemplation and of worshipping. Since 1989, the Getty Conservation Institute has helped Chinese experts protect the site. It's not just flaking paint, it's sandstorms, it's hundreds of thousands of tourists every year. So you have to kind of pick apart all the various challenges which we've done with the Dunhuang Academy, the stewards of the site. The caves were closed for many centuries, but today host nearly one million visitors a year. This is a very big challenge. Yeah, we need to balance the uh, conservation and uh, tourism. Yes. The Getty Museum will display three full-size replicas of caves and their paintings, so Los Angeles visitors can experience the art without going to China. The exhibition will tell the story of the caves, says Ted Lipman of the Robert H. N. Ho Family Foundation, one of the sponsors. What we're looking at uh, will not just be the art itself, but looking at the, the, the work that has been done through international cooperation to preserve uh, these resources for, for the world to enjoy. The exhibit, Cave Temples of Dunhuang, will open in Los Angeles in May next year. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.